Okay. All right. So on this screen, we can figure out how much money we still owe. Remember, we need 10,000 Pocos. The the treasure that we found before was, I think, 100, 100 Pocos. So so we need to we need to get some more. Uh, the Valley of Repose. Let's head back there. It seems as though we have no other options anyways. Let's head back there. Time to land. Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside their onion. What lazy creatures. No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. All right, simple as that. Same as the last game. Got 20 Pikmin in the onion. Now we got 20 Pikmin running around the squad with us. All right, so we need to get our numbers together. Like I said, the first day is the only day that they don't keep track of time. Uh, but more or less, from here on out, each day will be timed. Each day will will run the clock. It's at the top of the screen. That sun gives us an idea of how much time has passed. Uh, on the far left is the start of the day, and on the right is the uh, the end of the day. Uh, like before, this this pellet here is gonna give us one Pikmin because the color matches. It's gonna actually give us two, but this is a five pellet, so it's gonna give us much more than one Pikmin. And of course, it takes five Pikmin to carry that bad boy. If you all would be so kind as to get to work, if you notice, I haven't taken Louie with me. I don't have Louie with me. I have Louie back at the crib. He's back. <laughs> he's back at the ship uh, with the onion. So any Pikmin that. Hey, y'all keep up. Y'all keep up. Any Pikmin that uh, end up there, he will be able to bring back or, or take on his mission. Typically what I do is I'll assign one one of the pilots, one of the, the, the spacemen. I'll, I'll assign them a task for the day. So it looks like for right now, Olimar is all about the, the, re, or the populating of Pikmin. Uh, and since he's out Pikmin, he's, he normally would head back. But I think I know what we have to do today. I'm going to send Olimar here uh, to this paper bag just so that I have an idea. What I can do is use Olimar to figure out what I want to do next or where I need to go next. If you look at the map, I have him, stan or I have him standing right here by this paper bag. Or I'm sorry, this blockade. <laughs> and it's right here on the map. So I know that I need to bring some Pikmin here for whatever I want to do next. Let's switch. All right, so Louis here. Louis, actually, let's not switch since it's so close. Let's bring Olimar back because there's something else that I want to show you. If you remember last time, what I could do is I could rapid tap A to very quickly take Pikmin out of the ground. But if I rapid tap A, we're going to do it doubly. They're both going to get to work. Both Olimar and Louis are pulling them out of the ground. Again, one of the improvements that they made. It's all about time management. All right, we still got some Pikmin that are on the way here. So while, actually... What we'll do is we'll bring this bat. Oh, no, it's not ready. Never mind. It's ready now. We're going to bring this bad boy down. Y'all don't carry that. All right. And while those are all going to work, I'm going to explore up here. This is something that I mentioned in the last episode. I want to check to see what's up here because the Pikmin might know something that I can't tell. Nope. It was false. It was just an assumption, though, and that's okay. It's okay to be wrong in your assumptions. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you slacking off, fam? Hey, y'all help him. Y'all help him. Why y'all got him doing all the work by himself? Okay. So let's see. So let's let's get to work. Pull them Pikmin out the ground, fam. A lamb. Let's see, are they ready? No. All right. So now we have a total of 47 Pikmin. At the bottom of the screen, you can see how many Pikmin we have. The, the, uh, the three numbers at the bottom of the screen, the one on the far left tells us how many Pikmin I have with the character that I'm currently controlling. 
the number in the middle is how many Pikmin there are currently out in the world. That number is important because at the most we can only have 100 Pikmin out in the world at any given time. The number on the far right is how many Pikmin we have in total. That's how many Pikmin we have with us out in the world as well as in the onion. The, we can, that number can go as high as possible. I think the max would be 9999. If y'all be so kind as to carry this bad boy back. Uh, Louis, you're going to handle handle getting these suckers. All right. All right. And here we go. Now, this here is a much larger bulb orb. Of course, the reward for bringing it down would be much greater. But that also means that he's going to try and kill some of our Pikmin. So we're going to be careful about attacking him. We're going to be very careful, and y'all aren't going to get eaten. Never mind, they're getting eaten. Never mind, y'all were not prepared for the day. Well, maybe they were. Maybe they were. Carry this sucker back. Carry this sucker back. And get this too. If y'all be so kind as to carry this too. Everybody, just everybody. Everybody, here we go. Oh, fine, you run with me. You run with me. You little Leafy. Lil Leafy is running with me today. Look at this. It's another, it's another item. It needs 35 Pikmin to carry it. All right, so we're going to actually, Lil Leafy, here's what I want you to do. I want you to break down this wall. I know it's a very hard task, but I trust that you can at least start it. In the meantime, let's switch back to Louie, who's here with all the Pikmin at the Onion. We're going to need to carry, I'm sorry, we're going to need to bring all these Pikmin back to Olimar so that we can actually complete that task. Do we need, can we put more on? No? Okay, fine. It's all right. It's all right, we ain't gotta have a million Pikmin carrying that, that big lug. We'll be okay. Now, as I said before, the more Pikmin you have on any given task, it's very likely that it will get done faster. Very likely. So what we're gonna do, uh, let's see, should we leave them? No, let's get them out, let's get them out. Let's try and carry, have a lot, as many Pikmin with us as possible. Now again, because I only have Louie here with me, uh, he's not going to pull it out doubly fast. And that's okay, because he's they, individually, they still pull the Pikmin out of the ground pretty darn quick. <coughs> pretty darn quick. Okay, so as you can see, we only have 61 Pikmin with us. That's the number on the left side. But it says there's 62 Pikmin out in the world. Where's that other one? Over here with Olimar. That's a little leafy. That's a little leafy. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the rest of the Pikmin to Olimar and little leafy. Uh, this, I don't think he's actually made any progress. No, he has not made any progress at bringing the wall down by himself. That's okay, because we got the rest of the gang here. All right, and I think I tagged Olimar, but the game doesn't recognize that as us making a, a squad. Normally, if you run into a Pikmin, it'll turn into a squad and, and they'll start following you. Uh, but that's not the case with Olimar. I have to actually call Olimar the same way I would call Pikmin. All right, they're almost done. They're almost done here. How could Pikmin destroy such a massive wall? When masked, their might is ferocious. Louie, did Olimar instruct you on proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not. Olimar, you are failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Press A to grab Pikmin and release to throw them. Call them into a group with B. Press X to disband the group. Use C to issue orders and objectives to the group. C is useful for swarming Pikmin around treasure and enemies or making them march in a line. All right, that's more or less what, what we just went over. Okay, so now I think we're about to get into one of the cooler new things with this game. Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could lie underground? What is wrong? 
You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear. The leaders group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Okay, so this is one of the very new things for this for this series. Uh, as we get near the hole, the screen starts to glow a little bit. It lets us know that we're within within uh, reach of something super cool. This is the emergence cave. Enter this hole with your Pikmin squad, of course. How many treasures do we have from the emergence cave? Zero. How many Pikmin are going with us? 62 out of the 62 that we have with us in the world. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we about to have some fun. Emergence Cave, sub level one. Okay, so this is probably my favorite part of this game. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you get down here is that they don't know what the hell is going on. Intriguing. My heat sensors indicate that this hole's interior is warmer than on the surface. Analysis suggests subterranean areas may support different life forms than the surface. If you wish to check underground terrain, press start to communicate with me. I am not just a ship. I am an all-purpose support pod. All right, so let's take a look. Start. And of course, it works as a map. Okay, so the map's somewhat different. We still see that we have the two arrows, red being Olimar and blue being Louis, as well as the red dots representing the Pikmin that we have with us. Now, this symbol here, this is pretty much a geyser. I think, I think that's the proper term for it. It's a geyser or a hole, one of the two. Uh, this will let us go to a lower level. Now, one of the super cool things about being in the cave areas, the, the, the underground parts of the game, is that there ain't no timer. If you look at the top of the screen, the whole keeping track of day idea, gone. It does not exist down here. And, of course, there's more treasures. We knew that was going to happen because we saw treasure zero. Y'all carry that back. Actually, we're going to do the same idea. Split into two. Louis going to sit back here at home with everybody. While I have Olimar lead the expedition. All right. Oh, they brought back a treasure. This is the quenching emblem. As we know, those are all worth uh, 100, 100 p pokos. All right, swarm this sucker. Swarm him. Swarm him. Don't carry it back just yet. We got more to swarm. We got more to swarm, ladies and gentlemen. We got more to swarm, swarm all the stuff. Why, what, why don't you listen? Why don't you listen? Why don't you listen? Now you better not be a little leafy out here not listening. Carry all this junk back. This big old blob, that too. I don't want it. I don't want it. Hmm. This hole appears to be quite deep. My sensors indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Louie, you do recall that you can adjust the camera with L, R, and Z, correct? Your expression suggests you do. Excellent. Then approach the hole and press A to enter it. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll go lower, but not just yet. We need Louie. All right, take that up. How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. So if I'm not mistaken, what happens when we take all the enemies up is that for safe... Oh, actually, yeah, they're only worth a little bit. I was going to say they get they get converted into Pikmin, but later, once we leave this place.
This is the citrus lump. Nope. All right. So that loud whirring, you might be wondering what that means and, and, and whether this thing is out of batteries or not. I, if I'm not mistaken, that just means that we found all the treasures on this floor, on this sub-level. Okay, so why am I just standing here with Louie? Well, we should be over here with Olimar. Easy, because only one of the captains need to be at this hole to go to the next sub-level. Uh, as long as all of the Pikmin are under somebody's control. We have 57 here with Louie and five here with Olimar. 57 plus five is 62. As long as all of the Pikmin are under somebody's control, both captains as well as all the Pikmin will go lower with you. Leave anybody behind though and you'll be playing man down. All right, level two. All right, they're very nice to let us know that we are on the bottom floor of this place. So after we're done here, we're leaving. After we're done here, we're leaving. Swarm them. Swarm them. Carry, carry them. Carry them back. You guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. Louie. Olimar. Oh, they don't even want to hang out with Louie. <laughs> they don't even want to hang out with Louie. They really don't like Loom. Okay, fine. Come with me. Okay. And you see this thing? I want you to carry this thing, please. <coughs> it's inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. That's interesting. Remember, I said that 100 is the limit on how many Pikmin you can have uh, available at any given time or have active in the world at any given time. That counts underground. So how are we going to be able to carry this? Let's put them bad boys on it. Yep. The number on, I'm sorry. It looks like the number on top is how many Pikmin that we need. And then the number on bottom is how many Pikmin we have currently assigned. I think that actually might be flipped from the last game. It says we need 101 Pikmin to be able to carry this. How, how the, how the hell are we going to carry this? All right, swarm them. Swarm them. I guess I should have left Louie down there, huh? Or left him back at the, at the what's it called? Fine, Louie, go back. Go back. Don't even, don't even. Go back. Let's take a look at the map. I feel like I might be skipping something. Nope. It is a hallway. All right, fine. Nope. What are y'all boys doing? Come with me. Why'd you come with me? Oh, you guys are a mess. You guys are a mess. All right, Olimar, you get these 30. You get this 30. Carry these back. Get, swarm them. Swarm them. Chase me. Chase me. You might be looking at the bottom left corner, or you might have noticed this. Uh, the bottom left corner has a picture of Louie and a picture of Olimar, as well as two green circles and, and it looks like Olimar's green circle just got lessened a little bit. Uh, that is their health. That's their individual health. Uh, whenever they take damage they will be damaged and if they aren't healed, if that entire circle goes goes down then what happens is they are done for the day they gotta go to sleep to heal. They gotta go to sleep. They are, they are useless for the rest of the day. Alright. So y'all going to carry that back. We're going to chill here. Louie, you got some boys coming your way. You got some boys coming your way, Louie. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave these suckers here. I'm leave these fellows here. Really? Really? Y'all really going to do this, huh? Fine. Fine by me. All right, we'll wait here. Psych. Lou uh Alamar. Like I said, time management. Alamar, you carry these suckers. You carry these suckers. 
Uh, that number, the coins on the right side, is how much money, how many Pocos we found down here alone. It's not counting anything else. It's just what we found here in the in the emergence cave. Let's see. We still got we still got one group, right? Yeah. This is our last group of 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 carriers. Y'all are y'all are really y'all y'all really took this whole there's no rush business to the extreme here. Y'all are taking your sweet time. Okay, so Louis, who's actually I think Louis might be a little bit faster than Olimar, because he keeps out running the, the damn Pikmin. Alright, uh Louis and Olimar, they're gonna be back up. We're gonna have one large group, one big happy family, and we're gonna run in here. We're gonna run in here. Hmm. Astounding. A flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly, it is warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Okay, so something from the last game. If you remember, there were blue flowers, yellow flowers, and red flowers. And no matter what color Pikmin we threw in those flowers, it sprouted, it, it gave birth to seeds, or it, it germinated seeds that match the flower color. So if we took a red Pikmin and we threw it into the blue flower, it would give us seeds that were blue. Then they became blue Pikmin. Let's see what happens if we take the red Pikmin and throw them into the purple flower. All right, it gave us some purple seeds. In a Dastin. In a Dastin. Let's do it again. It seems as though the flowers have a limit of five. It seems as though the flowers have a limit of five. Last time there was no limit. I, as long as I threw in a Pikmin, they would come out. Ah. Woo. You're a big boy. Oh, you're a big boy, all right, that's for sure. Amazing, a purple Pikmin. It has hair and is quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This kind of Pikmin was not mentioned in your report, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them into flowers? Intriguing. Perhaps there are others. All right, so we got purple Pikmin. They are big boys. All right, so we got, we still got 600, I'm sorry. <laughs> we still got 62 Pikmin with us. All right, let's see where we need to go. Not that way, that's for sure. Let's go this way. All right, there's this thing. We still don't have 101 Pikmin. Let's see if we can carry this. All right, so that's all our red Pikmin. All right, so we threw a purple Pikmin at this item, this, this treasure, and our number went from 52 to 62. So the purple Pikmin are actually much, much stronger than the red Pikmin. Our purple Pikmin count as 10 Pikmin trying to carry something. 72. 82. 92. 102, we now have enough Pikmin. And of course, I can add the rest of them on just so that we have bigger numbers. We have more Pikmin carrying things, and it makes it a little bit easier. I'm sorry, they carry a little bit faster. So, of course, as before, the different color Pikmin mean that they have different qualities. Our red Pikmin, we actually don't know what they do in this playthrough. 
<laughs> just yet. But that carries off from last time. The red Pikmin like hot environments. They like fire, and they can handle fire damage, while other color Pikmin can't handle fire damage. The purple Pikmin, they're much stronger, and they actually deal damage, more damage just off being thrown at something, but they're much slower as well. If you notice, all the purple Pikmin ran behind the rest of the group because they're that much slower. Even then, they were running much slower. This is the Spherical Atlas. There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside this spear, retrieving data. Error. I could only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. I will input this data into my planetary database and name it the Spear Chart. Press start to contact me and access the exploration kit on the radar screen with L. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the decoded territory tomorrow. All right, so let's see. Oh, and that noise means that we are done here. There's nothing else uh, in this level of the cave, which means that we've completely explored the emergence cave. Uh, let's see. He said press start and hit L, the exploration kit. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, everything on this screen helps us to unlock something. It gives us something that makes the playthrough a little bit better. Just like a few items that we found, or a few ship parts that we found in the last playthrough. The spear chart, as uh, as our metallic friend up there let us know, uh, the spear chart lets us access a new area. So we'll actually be able to leave this place. Let's see, Louis, Louis is much faster. Let's switch to Olimar. And I think they're both about the same speed. I think there's no difference in uh, their stats. Their stats don't matter. As you can see, all the red Pikmin caught up with me long before, long before the purple Pikmin. Them boys are slow. They're slow, but they make up for it in their strength, and I am 100% okay with that. Let's see, is there anything else here for us? I don't think so. <coughs> Astounding. Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate it has enough power to launch you into the air. Approach it and press A to try. All right, so this might be our ticket out of here. Escape to the surface with your Pikmin? Of course. Of course. All right, so even though we're not at the end of the day, since we're leaving the cave, what it's going to do is tell us all the treasure that we found, how much it's worth, and whether or not we completed the cave. We absolutely completed the cave. We found all three treasures that were there, and we can bounce. We, we don't truly have a reason to come back. I mean, we might have to for, for several different reasons, but at the moment, we don't have a reason. So now we're going to go back to the overworld, the, the main part of the planet. We're back at the Valley of Repose. Dope. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful spelunking expedition. You have gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. Olimar and Louie, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable. You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. 
That's the game reminding you that you're not on a 30 day limit. <laughs> Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. All right, so the day is forcefully being ended right now, and I'm actually okay with that. That's fine with me. All right, so we're dismissing them. And then what's interesting is that we didn't find a purple onion. We didn't find a purple onion, which is what would be needed to uh, to house the, the purple Pikmin, just like the red Pikmin. It seems as though the purple onion go into our ship with us. I hope them boys like the party. They slow. They run slow. I hope they like the party. All right, all the things that we found. We've we've more than what doubled yesterday's work. That's good. That's really good. All right, so all our numbers went up. That's good. That's good. Baby steps first, Olimar. Plan well and don't worry about me. Our debt with Happy Hockatate Savings and Loan, after all. Oh, our debt is with Happy Hockatate Savings and Loan, after all. Besides, there's nothing left to re repossess, so ha! I actually like, I like the president. He's, he's probably, to be honest, the president is probably my favorite character in all of Pikmin. <laughs> Okay, that's going to wrap it up for today. Obviously, the days where we go underground are going to be a little bit longer if I'm trying to make every single episode one complete day. Uh, seeing as the underground bits don't require time passing or don't have time pass. <sighs> I'll catch you guys tomorrow with more Pikmin, guys. We'll be back with day three. This goal will be good. We're checking out a new area. I'll see you tomorrow.